All right, so get this today. We're going deep on AI in education, but here's the twist. Our main source is actually an AI written article summarizing an interview, an interview done by AI with a leading expert. Whoa. It's like we're looking at a digital reflection of the future of learning, how AI sees its own potential impact on education. Pretty meta. It's meta for sure. Huh. And at the center of it all is Paul Anderson. He's an educator who's been ahead of the tech curve like forever. But before we get to his predictions, let's rewind a bit. The article talks about Paul starting his teaching career way back in rural Montana. And get this, he was using dial-up modems. Oh, wow, dial-up. That takes me back. Such a different world from today's instant connection. But it's fascinating how Paul embraced technology even in those early days. It shows he recognized his potential early on. And that forward-thinking approach, yeah, it's a constant throughout his journey. Definitely. He was already flipping the classroom script before flipped classrooms were even a thing. Paul just got it. He saw that tech could change how we learn. He was pushing for video lessons at home so class time could be more engaging. Exactly. It highlights something so important. Technology is not just about the tools. It's about how those tools totally reshape learning itself. And this leads us to Paul's big statement. He believes AI has the power to revolutionize education just like the Internet did. Now that is a bold statement. The internet changed how we access info, sure, but it also brought challenges. Think info overload, needing new digital skills. So what does that kind of revolution even look like in education? What new challenges might AI bring? Million dollar questions, right? Now, Paul, he sees AI not as a replacement for teachers, but as a powerful tool. He calls it a co-pilot in the classroom. Picture AI taking over stuff like grading and all that admin work. And that frees up teachers to really focus on the human side of teaching the mentorship, fostering creativity, and really connecting with their students. You got it. It's all about using the strengths of both mm. AI and human educators. Mm. Paul talks about this beautiful synergy where AI handles the technical stuff, letting teachers focus on critical thinking, emotional intelligence, you know, those really human skills that are crucial for learning. And this links to another point he makes. AI's potential to level the playing field, especially for students who don't have the same resources. Imagine, right, an AI tutor that can explain tough scientific ideas in a student's first language. It just breaks down those barriers to understanding, makes quality education accessible to everyone, and that's just one way AI can personalize learning. It's like having a custom-made learning plan for every student, no matter their background. But let's be real, not everyone's thrilled about AI in classrooms. Some educators might feel, I don't know, intimidated even by the technology. So what does Paul suggest for those who are hesitant? Paul's advice is actually very practical. Start small. He wants educators to try using AI in their own work first, like for planning lessons, organizing resources, even managing their email. Yeah, it's like dipping your toes in the AI pool before you do a cannonball. You know, get comfortable with it first. Once those toes are wet, Paul sees AI changing, like everything about education. And one thing he's really pumped about is personalized learning. Oh, yeah. Instead of that old one-size-fits-all model, think of each student getting an education that's actually tailored to them, to their pace. It's incredible, right? Learning at your own speed. Exactly. And for teachers, it's a game changer. Mm. Because even the best teachers, it's tough to give that level of individual attention, especially with bigger classes. AI can provide that. It can give that tailored feedback, that support consistently. It's like having like an army of teaching assistants, but AI powered, all there to help each student along the way. Right. And it goes beyond just individual instruction, too. Paul also talks about how AI can revolutionize how we use data in education. So imagine this. Teachers, instead of spending hours and hours going through spreadsheets, looking at test scores, they can have AI analyze all that data instantly. We're talking seeing patterns, seeing where students might be struggling all in real time. Whoa, yeah. No more guesswork. It's data-driven decisions about teaching, intervening early, giving the right support at the right time. That's huge. It's about being so much more effective. Yeah. You know? sure. And that kind of data analysis, it gives teachers what they need to create a learning environment that's more equitable, more effective for every student. For sure. But here's the thing. Even though Paul's super enthusiastic about AI, he always emphasizes that human connection and education, that's irreplaceable. Tech can't replace that. He sees AI as something that enhances teaching, not something that takes over. He's right. It's such a crucial point. We're talking about empowering teachers with AI, not making them obsolete, right? I mean, AI might be able to grade your essay or plan a lesson, but it can't replace that feeling you get when your teacher encourages you or that like shared moment of laughter in class when something funny happens. Those human connections are everything. Totally. 
And speaking of memorable lessons, the article actually tells this great story from Paul's own classroom. He talks about this time his students were learning about DNA, hmm. you know, building those models at the double helix. And he was saying how they got so into it, so fascinated by how DNA works, asking tons of questions, totally absorbed in figuring it all out. Those are the best learning moments, aren't they? Those aha yeah. moments when something just clicks and you connect with what you're learning. Exactly. It's like seeing a whole classroom light up with understanding. And that brings us to this really interesting question at the end of the article. It asks us to imagine, if you could design your own AI learning companion, what would it be like? How would it help you learn and grow? Ooh, that's a good one. I like that. It really makes you think. Would your AI companion be like a personal tutor, giving you custom feedback, adapting to how you learn best? Right. Or maybe it could be like having your own personal librarian, but way cooler. Cutting through all the noise and finding exactly the information you need right when you need it. Yes. Sure. Or imagine it could even be like a brainstorming buddy, mm. you know, helping you come up with new ideas, pushing you to think outside the box. The possibilities are kind of endless. It's exciting to think about. We can move away from this one size fits all education model to something truly personalized. Learning experiences as unique as we are, guided by these AI companions that get us, that understand our goals. And the coolest part is this isn't some distant future. This is happening now. It is. Mm. So as we wrap up this deep dive into AI and education, it's really about thinking critically about your own role in all of this. Whether you're a student, an educator, a parent, whoever you are, AI is going to impact how you learn and experience the world. Stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay engaged in this conversation because it matters. Couldn't have said it better myself. And on that note, we're wrapping up this episode of The Deep Dive. A huge thank you to Paul Anderson for sharing his insights and to the AI that, well, made this whole meta conversation possible. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep diving deep into the world around you.